to all the learners like viewers out there and the topic which we'll be discussing today is quick access toolbar uh, the quick access toolbar is actually located on top of your workbook and here it is and this is what we call the quick access toolbar currently these are the two three options which are available the first one is the save the floppy drive option the second one is the redo and the undo option so uh, this is what we call a quick access toolbar. Why it is called a quick access toolbar? Because uh, these are some of the functionalities out of all the bunch which is available right below it. And according to the user, these are the most frequently used or these are the mostly used functionalities uh, within daily routine. So uh, this actually suggests that these functionalities should be customized according to the requirement or maybe uh, for every project and maybe for different teams as well so let's see if there is an option to customize this you have to click here and uh, see you have to click uh, on this more commands these are the options which are currently available in this quick access toolbar but when you click on more commands this screen will pop up and uh, in this screen it shows that these are the four options which are currently available within quick access toolbar but you can always customize this according to the requirement uh, currently the options available are redo undo save and auto save but uh, for example if there is a specific project and you need to add some within these toolbar so or you need to delete any of these default functions you can always do that so for example there is a function which is related to graphics and i'm frequently using the fill color option or my team is actually using frequently this option so what i'll do is i'll click here on the fill color and i'll add it to the quick access toolbar similarly i need to send an email every now and then when i complete my task uh, on any workbook or this email function is being uh, rapidly used by my team so what i'll do is i'll click on this email option and i'll just import this command to my quick access toolbar let's see what happens if i'll click here okay see uh, the quick access toolbar options are now changed so i'll have the fill color option here so the fill color option is now available in my quick access toolbar so this actually benefits me uh, in a way that now uh, for example if i'm working on uh, ribbon data i don't have to move to home again and then i have to i don't have to use this uh, theme color or the fill option if i'm on tab data or maybe if i'm working on this ribbon i can directly use this fill color option as this is my frequent requirement similarly if i'm done with my workbook i don't have to go to file and now then send an email to my clients or maybe to my manager what i can easily do is i'll click on this quick excel toolbar and it will let me send this via email this can always be changed according to the project or the requirement but this is an important function which is which must be used by all of the teams especially the team leaders who are managing a team of five or more individuals and these are the default options which are available within your quick access toolbar but you can always add uh, the option which I need to elaborate here is uh, currently these are only the popular set of commands. In order to see all commands, you have to click on this drop down list and you have to click here on all commands. Now, uh, all commands are available in this list and now you can import anything within this quick access toolbar. Similarly, if you have created any macros for your workbooks, which is a, a professional kind of topic, but if you have already done so, so you can always import the macros and macros can also be part of this toolbar. So I hope this uh, video is useful for all of you. Please do use this. And the last thing that you need to know is if you have done anything, if you have made any changes to the quick access toolbar and now your project is completed. So the only thing you have to do is you have to done reset and reset all customization. Click yes and now you don't have to worry about all the changes that were being made to this toolbar initially so this video must be helpful to all of you please make sure that you have hit the like button and subscribe to our youtube channel so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos thanks for watching this